Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today we're going to talk about it. New York City is now going to use tracking devices for speeders. Yes, guys. <laughs> this is like something from Fast and the Furious. Yeah, they're going to GPS track your car if you try to speed away. So, guys, we're going to talk about this video, so let's go jump into it. First thing, shout out to my whole Boost Emotion family. Much love. I appreciate you guys for always showing your support. And if you're new to the Boost Emotion channel, I'm Boost Emotion, and I report the news. So, in today in the news, yes, New York City is actually has now, you can now shoot GPS trackers at your car. Yes, guys. New York City took their funding, our hard on tax money, to catch us if we're speeding or if we're trying to evade police officers. And I want to I want to deep dive into this because first thing, I have a lot of y'all people, a lot of y'all people from across the world, across the nation saying my opinion is right, that there is a growing epidemic of people speeding and evading police officers but this is only in states and cities that are blue <laughs> and where the laws are super lax because they teach police officers to disengage when someone wants to get away isn't that kind of the opposite of of being a police you're supposed to protect but they think about it like if you don't chase them there's no more speeding so no one could get hurt and because of the past lawsuits where guess what if you want to get away and you crash the car into someone's property, into someone else's car, and kill somebody else or kill yourself, they can sue now the city and state because the police officer was trying to get you for a speeding ticket. It kind of blows your mind. Before I get into it, let's get into some of the reading because I'll give you guys my honest opinion later on. So it's going to get hot a little later. So, yes, the New York City Police Department debuted its latest set of high-tech police equipment. We, New York City... We New York denizens, whatever, will soon come face to face with robot dogs, dialects, and something new. A I don't know how to pronounce that word. Pretty much, I don't even want to. Y'all can make fun of me, whatever. But it's a sticky GPS tracker that you put onto a moving vehicle. The launcher is called a Guardian HX, made by a company called Star Chase. It's meant to create an alter alternate to a standard police pursuit, allowing cops to remote track a fling vehicle without sending a squad of interceptors to tell it but in hands of the department known for surveillance for, for surveillance the presence of any new trackers is is worrying the guardian launcher is based on all the things of an ar-15 the guardian lower receiver the part of the gun that holds the stock police grip okay we could pass forward through this i'm not going to watch the video or whatever that's because the Guardian trigger isn't a trigger. Okay, we'll fast forward. All that tech makes it a single shot launcher compatible of firing one adhesive tip GPS tracker before needing it, needing it barrel reloaded. The projectile travels about 37 miles per hour and has a straightforward range of 35 feet, though the company claims that with an arc, it can theoretically go 60 feet. So you kind of actually kind of be, they actually have to be close enough to be able to hit your car. That's going to be kind of hard. The NYPD has invested $19,000 on Guardian Venture. Jalopnik reached out to Star Chase to ask exactly what the NYPD gets gets for that money, whether the company will charge the police department additional fees beyond the initial price, for example, to provide tracking to the data, but Star Chase did not respond. Now, listen, guys, number one, this is a pilot program. This is them just trying something new. Let me just put that out there, right? Number one. Number two. Uh, for you to be able to use this device, you're probably going to need two people. Sit there and really think about it, right? You're going to need two people. The reason being is um, if I am a trooper and you are choosing to say, screw that, I'm going to keep it moving, right? Uh, then I would have to give chase to you. I can't drive and also shoot this kind of AR-15 style gun at 70, 80 miles an hour. That's not happening, right? This is for something where this is a case, and I want to use a couple videos, for example, on where maybe a GPS tracker will be used. So, um, number one, it will be used right here. Very active scene out here. Police are searching for the person responsible use, for backing use. into an NYPD officer during a fair traffic use. stop near 30th Street and Madison Avenue. We want to warn you, the video you're about mm -hmm. to see can be disturbing. It will be. 
One officer can be seen bashing see, into, the to get into the side mirror car. of the black sedan in question. They blocked it the in. vehicle is surrounded by police and, and boom, other and vehicles. An officer, the right? driver tries to get away by backing up. In this up. case, they don't have to block him in. They could just put the GPS tracker and let him go. Because he's causing so much more, he's causing so much damage in that small vicinity, and and, and end up hurting a police officer. So I see where in this case that kind of countermeasure or measure will be used. So just let him go, so that we can disengage the pursuing and just follow the tra the GPS tracker, right? Because of course this person is hurting people, pro causing property damage, hurting people, and hurting police officer, and could hurt himself. Cool, right? But also. I want to get a little bit even more deeper into this, guys. I, I like to start cooking. So please, let me cook, right? So the reason why this is even a thing, I'm going to go drop right back to it. This part right here. Agency partnership is key, police say, because if a racer is driving too fast, at a certain point, officers are not allowed to follow. How do you catch a drag racer if you can't chase after them? If we're able to get that license plate and we follow up with good investigation, all of us working together, yep. uh, we've had success rates where we're able to track that person down. Work See, so this is just another countermeasure because if they can't get your license plate, shout out to my fellow swimmers that don't have license plate. Shout out to you guys. Continue to be safe out there and bring it home. But at the end of the day, um, this could be another way of them actually be able to GPS track your guys' cars because at the end of the day, they want to get y'all. They want to get you off the road. And you guys don't understand. NYC Troopers is a very small part of New York City, New York City Police Department. So they'll get direct ties to the mayor. And if there's people or groups of people who are doing lawlessness, right, they're not caring, right, and they're getting away with a lot, they can have a direct channel towards uh, Eric Adams and be like, listen, we need to get these guys. It's not hard for them to look into countermeasures to be able to try to track you guys down, right? Because at the end of the day, they don't want to make it more. The simple thing is, in New York City, let's just give chase. But this isn't other parts of other states where you can chase people down with spike strips because it's just millions of people over here. And you will cause so much damage. And just look at some of the videos on YouTube where people, police officers from the NYC are trying to arrest somebody in a car. It's the worst. They'll drive on the sidewalk and knock out like 15 to 20 people. Think about that. Because of a traffic stop for a ticket? You know, a speeding ticket? At, think about it. A sp at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's be quite honest. Let me fucking cook. Fuck that. Let me cook. I'm going to say it on video, right? I'm going to just have this in the background. Let me freaking cook. Think about it like this. As much as I would want them to change the rules, right? Criminals are still going to be criminals. The law that they put in is for regular people because we abide by the rules. So if we go 37 and a 25, we get that speed and ticket, right? We get that points on our license because we were going 37. The person going 92 and chooses not to stop is a fucking criminal. He doesn't want to be caught. He doesn't give a fuck about your rules. This is me going and I'm cooking, right? So for the people who want to sit there and say, let's just make it more stricter. No, we're making it more stricter on the average day people because criminals are always going to be criminals. Well, then boost. Let's change the law because the law will just sit there and say, we're not supposed to engage with the person. Well, if we change the law that we're going to continue to engage with the person, guess who ends up dead? Guess who ends up dead? Innocent people. My mom, my sister, my brother, my, my best friend, my grandma, and someone's just walking across the street because he didn't want to stop for a speeding ticket. And he takes my, my, my grandma out. And this police officer just keeps moving. And I got to call them 911 and my grandma's dead. I'm suing the city. And guess who's going to win? Me. I sue the city. I sue the guy's insurance if they even have it. I sue the guy. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. This is what it is. This is America. Same thing for the driver who chooses not to who chooses not to stop. If he goes and crashes the car and he ends up dead, he could still sue the city. I mean, his family could still sue the city because at the end of the day, in the court of law, they sit there and say like this. Why were you pulling him over? Well, he was going 37 and 25. Well, and he chose not to stop. So you gave chase. He killed a grandma walking across the street. He killed uh, a family of two. He tell he fish tail and hit that car and he killed himself also. So now we got four people dead. 
over someone going 37 in a 25? In the court of law, they don't let that shit rock because it's at the end of the day, the crime isn't that fucking serious. Let them go. Let them go. So this is why these rules are here. And as much as I may not like them, this is why this lawlessness exists in New York City. That's why I keep telling people, like, I keep telling, shout out to my fellow swimmers once again. Yo, y'all guys got to be careful. I get that y'all really riding with this, but because this, yeah, they're putting more countermeasures in to try to mitigate it and see whatever else things that they can do. At some point, at some point, they're going to go even farther. This may be just something small that really isn't going to go anywhere. Trace is not going to go anywhere. But you may get to the point where, guess what? Now they choose to hire double the amount of state troopers to be on the Belt Parkway. You may make it like that for us. Now there's going to be more station troopers. They may go more and more that they may have ghost troopers, once again, unmarked vehicles, right, that are now choosing to drive on the highway. Remember, there's taxi cabs and other cars. They may go more into it to the point that, guess what? As I made a video talking about New York State is now putting speed cameras in work zones, they may choose to now put speed cameras on the highways or the, the expressways in New York City because of speeders. So they're like, you know what? Guess what? I get it. We might not be able to get these speeders. It's cool. Screw them. Let's not put time into it. But you know what? This is the perfect time for us to put speed cameras on the expressways in New York City. Perfect time. Guess how much more, much revenue that's going to bring? Everything's about money. It ain't about trying to really save people's lives out here, man. They always going to try to turn a profit. So I'm going to end this video with this, right? This article. I didn't bring it up before. New York State police are watching your social media. That's why I kept on saying to all my fellow swimmers, they're watching you guys. Come on, man. You roll around with a gold M4, M3. Like, what we talking about here, man? There's not much of those on the road, bro. And you got no plates. Yeah, that dudes ain't got no plates. I've seen y'all around. You know how I know I've seen you around? I My day job, I drive all, all across Brooklyn. So I know where a lot of people's cars are at just because I drive all around Brooklyn. Almost every street because of my job. So if I can see you, right, and I'm just a YouTuber, imagine a police officer that has all this time and energy and money put into it that are just there to find you where you live at. When you take a photo and put it on your IG, it has a geo tag or whatever on it. They know, man. And if they really choose to really care, to really put some more money into it, they will find y'all. And y'all will never get your license again. Shout out to Rush Shift. His YouTube channel is dead because he was wilding in California. Dead. And a lot of other YouTubers that you don't see no more, they didn't die. They just lost all their cars. And they were financially ruined. And I don't want it to happen to you guys. So for, the, for at least eight years, New York State Police have brought an array of programs to sift through mass quantities of social media information, including companies with access to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The records also illustrate a cat and mouse game that the state police have played with social media companies, which have tried to prevent law enforcement from using the platforms for surveillance. The thing is, it ain't... They can use it all they want because guess what? You guys give the information out for the fun. You guys give the information out. Y'all make everything public. There are currently no laws limiting police use of internet monitoring, monitoring tools for, pri for privacy reasons. According to New York the State Police Spokesman, uh, uh, the programs are restricted to members who have been specifically trained and are closely supervised, right? The software services and tools have been helped eliminate uh, individuals from suspicion and convict others for serious crimes. Now, this is obviously for more different things, right? 3,500 state uh, of, officer state department responsible for both patrolling duties and statewide investigation have recently entered a market for various other high dollar gadgets like $200,000 military grade army truck, underwater camera robot, and a fleet of miniature surveillance drones. Like, uh, purchasing powerful cell phone hijacked the tool. So this is for bigger crime. But just knowing that this exists just for bigger crime, they can easily use and put a little bit of money into getting the speeders and getting people who are lawless. They, If the law allows you to do it, they have to find countermeasures on trying to get you guys. And at the end of the day, because this problem is going to continue to exist, because there is a culture behind it, because 
There is lawless behind it. Once again, I'm not. This is not coming at speed. This is just people who are just generally criminals, man. If you're generally just being a criminal, doing this criminal shit, right? At the end of the day, you might be swimming. That's one thing. But it's another thing if I rob a bank or I rob somebody hopping the V and I'm trying to get away. That those people are really criminals. So at the end of the day, I'm sorry. You look just like them. It don't matter if you're in a BMW cutting up on a highway or you're in a Sonata and you just robbed somebody's grandma and you're trying to get away. Y'all all look like criminals in the, in the court of law, period. So this is going to continue the way it's going to be and, and New York City is going to still keep doing what they got to do. It, it's a slow process, but know that they're going to continue to create programs and ways to either increase revenue or to restrict the average day person because a small percentage of people are continuing to be lawless, period. And it's all started from freaking speeding, man. All right. So outside that, guys, we have good morning, good afternoon, good night. I really appreciate you guys, Boost, for always showing your support, man. If I'm off, let me know. Type in the comments. Let me know if I'm too much of my emotions or if you don't agree. And I get it. I get it. We all we all men here. We all have our opinions. And I'm always going to fully give respect to you guys with your opinions. All right. So outside that, I appreciate you guys. Hit me up at Boost Motion IG Facebook. Also. You can send me an email at boostemotion at gmail.com. So continue to be safe out there. Protect your families. At the name, I want nothing to happen to y'all guys, man. Nothing to happen, all right? Thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you.